All right, let's take a look at this. One day ago, preseason rank change dev updates. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, also known as Riot Brightman. Hey folks, I'm Andre, also known as Medla. Medla. Today is August 17th, and we've got a lot Medla. to cover today. To start, we want to talk about an update to how we approach ranked each year in League of Legends. We're going to be moving to three ranked resets per year. Okay. And we want to explain these changes a bit before... We and because people run it down the whole preseason. Medla. Hand things over to our game director, Pew Liu, who will talk a bit more about what that entails. All right, Pew Liu. League's had a year-long ranked structure since the early days. Some of the details have changed a bit over time, but the core's been pretty consistent. Ranked kicks off in January, and then runs until just after Worlds in November. At which point we jump to preseason, we experiment with some gameplay changes. Now, there's a lot we think works well about that. There's a great kickoff to the season moment, there's a clear endpoint, game and esport have some nice synergy with each other, that sort of thing. But at this point, we're also seeing some opportunity Medla. for improvement. One long, gradual climb over 10 months can feel like a real grind, with a long gap until a fresh climb. There's that down period at the end of the year where often a lot of people will want to play ranked and can't. And sometimes it's just a long time until we've got the next window for larger changes to Summoner's Rift gameplay. It's also often unclear when the next you know, event or larger update to leagues Medla. will be. Now, as you will have noticed, we tried out a faster ranked climb and a mid-year ranked reset. We think that went well overall, and that there's opportunity to create more moments for gameplay changes that can tie in with other things going on in the league ecosystem. Every time I see, I just, I just, I, I see Gordon from uh, Half Life, Half Life. So, with all Medla. that, stuff, here's Pooh to talk through some more information on these changes. All right. Hey everyone, I'm Pew, aka Pew Pew Lasers. Pew Pew Lasers, baby. Through some of the upcoming changes we're making a preseason and ranked splits in League of Legends. As mentioned, we're moving into a three ranked split per year structure with three sets between each one. This should hopefully result in more impactful games and a faster climb for each split, and it also means you'll have the opportunity to earn three ranked skins each year. Damn. Part of the change to this model. Yeah, I read a comment. So I haven't watched this video, but I read a comment. It's like, yeah, it's always Riot and their skins. They always want to do everything to change the skins. And I'm like, why is this comment being upvoted, bro? They're giving skins away from free. <laughs> is taking a look at preseason. Past preseasons have gone on to PBE in early October, giving players a lot of time to explore and learn the gameplay changes that will be featured for the coming year. The flip side is that by the time the new season starts, the gameplay changes no longer feel new. In other words, the time in which players are most excited to play with the new changes and the time in which players are allowed to and excited to start their rank climb were not aligned with each other. So this year, and in each year moving forward, we're Wait, I thought the intention is... I thought the intention is that... they. I thought they needed the preseason to actually balance the game. Because regardless of the intention of people in terms of how they play ranked, I think that's a separate issue. The game is largely, largely imbalanced in the preseason. And I don't know if they get enough volume on PB to justify isolating PB as, as enough of a sample size to, to, to make uh, appropriate decisions. Especially because the PBE server is ba in North America. Like, why is it in North America? <laughs> Isn't that kind of funny? Smallest player base to have preseason hit PBE in mid-November with an official release in January of 2024 on the same patch that ranked in esports play begins. The current rank split will stay live through November and December of this year, giving players more time to get to their desired rank. Now, this is a new approach and does carry some risks, so okay. we're going to have to be really on top of it in terms of the balance and the meta at the start of each split. We think the trade-offs are really worth it, and we're excited to start 2024 off with a bang. If you'd like to learn more, We've got a dev blog on this topic that's live now. Okay. In terms of what's in preseason. I hope they are very snappy, bro. I hope they're very snappy with hot fixes. We have a lot of changes that's gonna that we're be working good, on. Man. We're looking at terrain adjustments to parts of Summoner's Rift, changes to map objectives, and significant modifications to the item system, some of which I'd love to share with you today. Earlier this year, we said that we weren't really happy with how Mythic items landed, and that we were open to removing the system entirely if the changes implemented didn't bring us closer to where we wanted it to be. And, well, they didn't. So starting in January of 24, mythic items will be removed from League of Legends. Trying to serve I get it. And I think it's good, but I'm personally not as excited for it as other people are. I guess it's like the biggest buff that this will be for, right? The biggest buff that this will be for is just the mage class. And let me just bring you back, okay? It's like 2022 
where when I could go Ludens Protobelt on fucking um, on Silas, on Silas, that's one. That's just kind of mad. I think I think what was cool about the mythic system, right, was that it allowed them to make really really powerful passives. I mean, ability like make really really powerful items with actives. That's what the mythic system allowed. But it also went overboard because now more than ever, everything is based around what items are the strongest. So you have to kind of pick your poison, you know? The meta is always going to revolve wi around which items are the strongest. That's always been the case. But in the mythic system, it has been more extreme, right? What the mythic system has allowed you to do is that they've, they've been allowed to create really, really powerful actives. And with mythics being gone, it's like, are you gonna? Do you guys? Do you believe in a world where Gore Drinker and Stride Breaker are going to exist? But it's not stats versus stats. It's more about the effect, right? Gore Drinker, Stride Breaker, uh, Everfrost. You know these 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 are items that are very very powerful, like Divine Sunderer. There's there's a lot of items that really reshape champions. So I'm curious how they're gonna like how they're going to expand on that. You know? It's like what is what is going to be so different from the point in time where they felt the necessity to put mythics in, right? Buffo Assassins? Well that's that, that's another question, right? Like Duskblade. That can only exist in a mythic world, right? So I'm 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 curious how they're going to play that out. So I think I think a lot of items I I they will they are gonna get just removed. I'm pretty sure a lot of items will straight up be removed. Yeah, as an example, Elias, exactly. Like I in Avori Gale for Lucian. <laughs> like so so we have to see how, how it plays out. I'm just saying it's like in terms of how the community reacted in terms of celebrating this, I understand why, but I don't think Freak said on his stream, no items are going to get removed. Well, if they get reworked, I count that as them being removed, you know? It's like if it's Gale Force and it doesn't have a dash, that's for me in my mind removed, okay? <laughs> it's like if the dash is half the range or half the distance or slower or something like this, it's removed, you know? It's like if, if, it's, if it's the same and the namesake, who cares, you know? Gale Force should reset the CD on kill or assist. <laughs> yes, yes. The word you're looking for is takedown. It should it should reset on takedown. <laughs> I want to do like banana combos, you know? I want to like Gale Force and then like Gale Force again in the air. And then I want to just like... Uh, that's, that's what I want to do, Elias. I feel you. <laughs> a bunch of different champions in a class with a few mythic items has proven to be really challenging. And while it works pretty well for about half the roster, the other half is left with items that don't feel really right for them or have their creativity stifled. While the mythic item tier will be removed, we will be adjusting current mythic items that players really like to be exciting options rather than prescriptive centerpieces. So that means you can go back to buying Infinity Edge with Trinity Force if you'd like. You can learn more about other item changes and everything else we're cooking for preseason. Or passive? Reveal. Uh, probably they will just revert back to what it will used to be, right? It's like you're going to be able to upgrade the items that are strong and expensive. And that's it. Oops, I muted. Medla. We've been waiting for some news on what's up for Arena after the Soul Fighter event. We're really excited about the response to Arena, and we think there's a lot of opportunity to make it even better again. Arena's debut run will end with the Soul Fighter event, as previously discussed, but that's so we can take it down, make a bunch of upgrades to it. So the game mode team is already underway on that. I one. think this is the way, bro. I, I, I think genuinely, I think there is a very positive effect to someone's experience if you have a kind of dopamine detox in relation to it. It's like, for example, now more than ever, I have very little time to play League of Legends. This season, I've played maybe 40 games. So I'm talking second half, right? And when I play League, that one game I can play a day, I have so much fun. Like, it's even if I get into it, I enjoy the shit out of that game. So it's like, to miss something and to be away from something is a positive thing. And I think pulling it off the market and then to rebuild it and make it fresh, I think is a very, very good way, right? That's why, like, like seasons 
seasons and like seasonal games like for example uh like what they do in path of exile and so forth i think it's a very very good approach to things you know i i, I like that a lot and the next version of arena will drop in early december we're still figuring out exactly what will be in that update but we're looking at things like adding a lot more augments to give more game to game variety improved champion viability so you can have a good time bringing a larger variety of your favorite champions into arena some map adjustments and ways of playing with more than just one friend. So on the subject of games, oh, while we're taking three away from three? for some updates, we do have another game mode that is finally giving us time to shine again. Come on. Nexus Blitz oh. is coming back in late October for a five Yes. Weekend. Now we know this has been a long time coming. Oh. Especially I love this game mode. In 2022, and we did not deliver on that. Now the game plays as you remember it, though with a few tweaks to account for changes since its last appearance like the updated jungle items. On a different note, as we mentioned in a previous dev update, oh, yeah, I love we're also bits. working on improving bot AI to both enhance the new player experience and also make playing against bots feel more like a real game. Holy shit. Silver, bronze, iron players rejoice. The bots are getting better. We'll be having our first player-facing technical test of the new bots on PBE sometime next month. We're currently focusing our bot work on helping new players learn the game. So these bots are deliberately intra-level at the Holy moment. shit, they flame... <laughs> if you make a mistake, they flame the shit out of you just to, like... <laughs> you get pinged, you get, like, fucking... I hope you didn't get spoiled. Bro, I was on the analyst desk. <laughs> I'm already spoiled, bro. Most of you to crush them easily, but we'd still love your feedback on how they look and feel. And check out the dev blog that just went live today for more info on how to do that. Okay, that's nearly it for us from today. Next time we talk to you... We'll cover new champions and champion updates, including Skana, who's still on track for a release early Skana. this year. Before then, though, you'll also see Jax's visual and audio update, which will be revealed sometime mid to late September. And if you want more details, don't forget to check out the dev blogs on the rank changes and ongoing bot AI development. Thank All you right. so much for watching. Cool, 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 cool. I, I honestly, honestly, I have to say, this one, it's like, this was more about announcements and not a lot of meat here not a lot of meat but cool 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 man i have to say I, i'm probably one of the few people that really loves league of legends i think it's a great game i think it's a fantastic game